Hello everyone, JT122 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run Windows 8 and Linux via, uh, via VirtualBox. Um, but before doing this, you gotta know if your computer can run a virtual desktop. If you wanna know how, just shut down your computer or restart it, and go into your computer BIOS and look for virtualization. It's going to be disabled by default, so you gotta enable it. After that, just go to your browser, and you go into uh, this page right here, uh, VirtualBox, and um, you click here on Linux, and then I have a 64-bit. Uh, I'm running Ubuntu 11.04, 64-bit, so I gotta choose this one. If you're running a Ubuntu 11.04, 32-bit, just choose this one right here. Or if you have it running a different distro, there's some, there's a whole bunch of uh, choices here. I'm gonna provide you the link below, so you don't have to worry about that. And um, after that, just go to uh, this page and download the Windows 8 Developer Preview. Uh, like I said, I'm running 64-bit, so I gotta choose this one right here, or I could download the Developer one. If you are running a 32-bit, don't download this one right here. And after you do that, go into your virtual machine. Okay, and you click here on New. Click Next. And um, I already have my I created mine already, <laughs> Windows 8. So I'm just gonna get give, give it a different name, just uh, Windows. Okay. And then after that, you choose Microsoft Windows, and you choose uh, Windows 64 bit here, Windows 7 64 bit. But if you're running a 32 bit, just use this one right here. Okay. Click next, and you give uh, choose how much memory or RAM you want to give to this uh, virtual machine. Uh, you can go ahead if you have like uh, eight gigs, give them four gigs. Uh, I'm running. I have uh, four gigabytes, so I'm just gonna give them two gigs. But just for right now, I'm just gonna since I already have one right here, I'm just gonna give them uh, this right here. And uh, you click next, next, and uh, I recommend using a fixed size. So you just click next, and you choose how much um, memory you want to give to the virtual box here. I recommend doing 40 or uh, 30. Or you can do more if you're planning on using this for a while and saving stuff. I'm gonna show you guys right now this one though. And I'm gonna do 20. Uh, click next and create. Then hit create again. And there we go. Then after that, uh, you click on start. Uh, you click next, and uh, you ch you gotta choose uh. Uh, the ISO image, so just put it wherever you wanna. It's gonna be easy for you to to look for uh, for look for. I recommend putting in desktop or something. But yeah, uh, this is the ISO image. And then after that, uh, you just click next. And you click start. And uh, that's how it's gonna look. And Windows Developer Preview. And don't worry about this Windows popping up. Just hit OK. Hit OK on all of them. Don't worry about it. And just hit Next and choose your language and go ahead and do the setup. I'm sure you guys know how to do all these steps. So I'm just going to show you how Windows 8 looks after you finish setting it up. OK. And also, if you want to remove Windows 8 from the virtual machine, uh, you can just go ahead and hit right click and remove. But um, before doing this, after you finish uh, doing the installation of Windows 8, just right click and go to settings. And uh, go to storage. And right here in Windows Developer, uh, hit on this one. Just right click and remove attachment. Or you can go ahead and click this one right here. You gotta remove the ISO so it won't install again once uh, you start Windows 8. Once you finish installing it, just hit OK. And after that, uh, you can just go ahead and just run your Windows 8. But if you wanna remove it, just go ahead and remove it here. Uh, you can either delete all files or remove only. I didn't install anything on this one, so I'm just gonna hit remove only. Okay, and after that, uh, after you install Windows 8, just hit start. I'm gonna show you guys how to 
how it's gonna look. Like I said, just ignore all these pop-ups right here. Just hit OK. All right, and this is gonna look. Uh, you, uh, if you're doing a, running a touch interface, it's gonna be much easier. But you can also do like uh, with your mouse like this. Go ahead and put your password. And this is how it looks, guys. Pretty neat. See, it has the Metro UI and the classic look right here. See, if you want to go to the internet, open your files and stuff like that, it's pretty neat. The ribbon right here doesn't have any more of the, remember the window that used to have file, edit, and all that stuff anymore. Uh, your computer shortcut your um, it's pretty neat guys I'll do a review later on but this is just a uh, preview how to install Windows and see right now if you click this it's gonna take you back to a Metro UI and whenever you wanna uh, shut down the computer or something like that just go and hover here to the corner you hit on uh, start I mean um, yeah you hit on settings and you go here here and do a power off okay and that's it guys and remember to comment and subscribe I'll be posting a review and a little inside look on how Windows 8 looks uh, later on thank you all guys and remember to comment and subscribe